Hello everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. I'm your host, Michael Tabor. So, impeach, remove, and prison. That's my slogan. I've been saying this for a long time. I've been putting it up on Facebook uh, right when the Ukraine stuff came out. I was talking about this uh, with the Russian Mueller report as well. Uh, we could have gone forward with that, but never, never mind. Okay, so uh, this guy never should have been elected president. Uh, it's a joke. He's totally unqualified. He's a gangster, but it is, it is fair. He won, even though he had 3 million less, excuse me, let me be grammatically correct, 3 million fewer votes than Hillary Clinton. Fair is fair. It's the Electoral College. Okay, so he is the president. We live in a democracy. We have to respect that. He is our president, but it's ridiculous. Never should have this is this. He's a gangster. He's incompetent, and he's he's a criminal. So, okay, the Ukraine thing. The bottom line is, this is the situation. All this, like, oh, Hunter Biden and uh, quid pro quo. There was no quid quo pro. Never mind all that. That's gravy. There was. Was there quid uh, pro quo? Yes. Something for something. That's what it means. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Was there a cover up? Hundred percent. But we don't even need that. That's just gravy, right? So all that matters is that Trump asked the Ukraine government for help. Trump asked the Ukraine, Ukraines for help in compromising a political rival without the American public knowing about it. That's all we need to know. Okay? So this whole thing... The vote is against party. What's going to happen today is he's going to be impeached, right? So then it's sent to the Senate, and they vote on whether or not to remove him. We need to, So you need a majority in the House to impeach, and then you need two-thirds in the Senate, which is 67 votes. Now, that's not, hap it's not going to happen because of the, the horrible Republicans. They don't give a fuck, all right? So so let me... What I would say the re to the Republicans, if I were in a room with a bunch of Republicans, say Mitch McConnell, all those other other Republican guys you see on C-SPAN, I, I would say, now listen, try to be impartial here. Now try, if you would, imagine Barack Obama, right? Let's say in the, the, the 2000, uh, 2012 election, and we found out that Obama was, I don't know, negotiating with Iran, Iran to get some dirt on Mitt Romney. How would that, how would that work, right? Let's get some dirt on Mitt Romney. I think the Republicans would stand for that, right? You know, the Republicans voted, you know, back in the Clinton days because Clinton got a blowjob, and he denied it. Like every guy does that. Like if you're caught in an infidelity. Like, I don't care if you're whatever. He's like, he's like no, I, well, I, you know, listen, I'm not saying Clinton is a sleazebag. He's a, he's a sexual predator. I'm not, you know, great president, whatever. But the thing is, they went their way out of their way, you know. There's a funny tweet by Monica Lewinsky. He goes, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow Trump. And uh, I guess, you know, take one for the team, you know. That's the only way Republicans will vote to impeach and remove. So this actually turned out to be a fake tweet, but... It's funny anyway. I digress. So the bottom line is Trump asked the Ukraine government and it's strong arm. Like you, you heard the tape. It's like it's a mafia boss, like John Gotti, right out of the mafia crime book, right? So there you go. So Trump asked for help from uh, uh, his political rival. You talk about horrible. Just think about that. And precedent. If we don't impeach and remove this horrible monster, just think about precedent. Precedent, I say. Right? We are not a nation of people, the United States of America, a nation of laws. No one is above the law or should not be above the law. And precedent. Every single legal case that goes all the way to the Supreme Court how do they come with a, a judgment? It's based on precedent. What happened in prior cases? Precedent. Oh, Donald Trump was able to 
you know, seek the aid from a foreign government to go after his political rival? No, let's, you know, let's say 2028 or 2030. We may, the fear is that we get someone just as bad as Trump or maybe even worse. And then now he could do whatever he wants, right? Okay. I think it's obvious impeach, remove, and then ultimately imprison, life imprisonment without parole, where he belongs in jail. And like, but one thing at a time, we got the impeachment today. You know, I'm not holding my breath with the Senate removal. That's what we should do. And then eventually, when he's out of the office, he knows he's going. Whether he makes it to 2020 or even if he wins, after he's done, he's going to jail. He, we all know that. And he knows it too. So he's fighting for his life now. All right. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk. Impeach, remove, imprison.